Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Tesla Week. So today we're covering interior. You guys saw us last time we covered all your frequently asked questions about how to detail the exterior of Tesla. And now we have a whole new batch of questions on how to detail the interior of Tesla, such as things like your vegan leather, your navigation screens, and so much more. So we're gonna go ahead and start that off right now by describing the products that we're gonna be using today. All right, so before we begin with the actual cleaning portion of the video, I just wanna go ahead and just kind of go through the products that I have right here in front of me, starting off with the leather stuff. So as you guys may already know, Tesla has vegan leather, which is a synthetic form of leather. It doesn't mean that it's not leather. You know, you can treat it the exact same way. Our cleaner is actually very versatile and can be used on vegan leather, as well as some of the other protectants that I will be describing to you guys as well. So we have our leather cleaner here, which we'll be using to clean the leather. And we'll be pairing that with our horsehair bristle brush, which as you guys can see, it's soft yet you know, aggressive enough to knock off all the dirt, grime, and embedded body oils on your leather, as well as an applicator for your leather serum right here, which is a durable UV sealant for your leather. So if you're looking for something that's gonna provide durable UV protection to prevent drying, cracking, fading, and discoloration, leather serum is gonna work out perfectly. And then obviously you have a ton of other surfaces on your interior. And instead of having a ton of different cleaners, we're gonna simplify that with one using our total interior cleaner and protectant. Now total interior is a great maintenance cleaner to clean up like dust, debris, you know, body oils, little food spills and stains and stuff like that. So this is gonna work out great as a just spray and go kind of product to wipe away all that stuff very quickly, very easily. And it also has a built-in UV protectant. And last but not least, it leaves behind a fully OEM matte finish. And then last but not least, we have our fabric clean. Now, the fabric on this Tesla, it's not too bad of in the shape, but you know, that doesn't mean that it doesn't require a cleaning. You know, just because it has black fabric or black cloth, you know, just because you don't see the dirt or grime does not mean that you should not clean it. So in this case, we'll be using fabric clean diluted to a 20 to one ratio to just give it a quick little spot clean. And what I mean by that is we're gonna be using it diluted. We're gonna spray down the carpet, spray down the, the floor mats. And then we're simply just gonna wipe it down with the microfiber towel because that's gonna help neutralize any kind of odor causing bacteria and pick up any light dirt and grime. So without further ado, let's go ahead, make our way to the Tesla and let's show you guys some epic cleaning results. All right guys, so we're here at the Tesla interior and the first thing that we're gonna be cleaning up is this vegan leather. So as you guys can see right off the bat, this thing is very disgusting. There's a bunch of dirt, grime, body oils embedded on the surface of this beautiful bright white leather. However, it's not looking like that case right now. So that's what we wanna to restore today. So we're gonna start off with a good old fashioned 50-50. So I'm gonna grab some masking tape just because I wanna show you guys what this leather should actually look like. Because I know oftentimes, especially on our own vehicles, you know, it may not look dirty until you actually start cleaning it. Then you realize, just how bad it is. So for you guys at home who are watching this right now, like I said, I'm not entirely sure how well it shows on camera, but I tell you this, in person, this thing is very, very bad. It has all kinds of dirt, grime. So now we're gonna grab our leather cleaner and our horse hair cleaning brush. And then what I like to do, instead of going crazy and just spraying all the leather, what I like to do is pre-saturate the bristles of the brush for some added cleaning power. And then you can spray about two to three sprays on the leather itself. And then all you want to do now is start scrubbing it. And the beautiful thing about this brush is that, like I said earlier, it's aggressive for the leather in terms of breaking down the dirt and grime. However, it's gentle on the leather. So you don't have to worry about it damaging your leather or anything like that. And that's the beauty about these brushes is that they drastically help you in terms of really deep cleaning it. Because if you think about it, leather has a texture to it. It's not, you know, glass smooth. It actually does have a texture to it. So you'll want to make sure that, you know, in order to achieve that deep clean, you actually get deep in there into the texture of the leather itself. That way you get rid of all the dirt and grime that's you know within. So in this case, I'm actually gonna spray just a little bit more because it didn't really reach this little back part right here. And I just wanna make sure that I clean it very thoroughly. And I'll tell you this right now, guys, this thing already looks incredible without me even wiping off the residue and the dirt and grime that we're extracting from the surface. So now I'm gonna set that down. I'm gonna grab my towel, wipe it off and phew, Look at that guys, without me even taking off the tape, that's how you know that this leather is extremely dirty and extremely bad. So I'm just gonna take my time right here, just wiping off this little last little dirt and grime down here. Now there are some scuffs on this leather that I can see right now. 
And unfortunately, that's going to be something that we can't really uh, remove. But I'm going to go ahead and take off the tape right now and check that out, you guys. Night and day difference as far as that leather. That thing is disgusting. It's brown. Body oils. You have some coffee stains over here as well. This right here is crisp. It's white. It's bright and the color that it should be. All right, guys. So now it's time for the portion of the video where we start answering some of you guys' questions now. I actually wrote down a couple of them that we see very, very frequently on our social media platforms. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up right here. Now, one of the biggest questions was cleaning vegan leather. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's really not much of a huge difference in terms of how you would clean uh, genuine leather versus vegan leather. So it's the exact same process, exact same chemicals, exact same brushes, exact same towels. Everything is the exact same. Obviously, the biggest difference being that this is uh, vegan leather as of compared to a, gen a genuine leather. So another thing to keep in mind with this right here is that you don't want to use any kind of aggressive cleaners. So luckily, our leather cleaner is specifically manufactured for cleaning all types of leather, whether it's vegan leather, genuine, faux, synthetic, or leatherette materials. It's going to work out great on all occasions. Now, one of the questions that we had here that I found that was very, very shocking was a lot of people were asking how to clean leather with wipes. Now, more specifically, how to clean it with bleach wipes. And that, that's a big no-no. So you never want to use bleach wipes cleaning your interior, especially when you have products specifically manufactured for your leather. And we also have leather cleaning wipes as well. So as you guys can see, we have leather wipes and that's the exact same product as our leather cleaner in the bottle. Now these are in easy to use disposable wipes. So you can use this to maintain your leather on the go. And uh, the reason why I didn't use this as far as the cleaning today is simply because this requires a very, very deep clean. Now, as you can imagine, if you deep clean your leather today and you maintain it often with something like a leather clean wipes, odds are you're never really gonna get to this stage where your leather is gonna get to this point where it's all super brown and dirty and grimy. So. That's the beauty about leather is that we have a ton of resources for you, such as our leather cleaner wipes, our leather cleaner bottle with the brush if you do have more neglected leather. And we're now gonna move on to cleaning the rest of the leather. And then I'm gonna show you guys some quick tips and tricks on how to maintain your leather looking as crisp, bright white as this right here, using some protectants like our leather protectants here. <laughs> Alright guys, so now that we've finished cleaning the leather, it's time to lock in those results. So obviously after all this hard work and effort of cleaning the leather and making it look like brand new, we don't want to just leave it exposed. So we actually want to apply a protectant to it like our leather protectant serum. Now, yes, I want to just re-emphasize this is that I understand this is not actual genuine leather. Even though this product is specifically for leather, it can also be used on this synthetic vegan leather material because it is a leather sealant. So in order to use this product, all you have to do is simply apply a couple drops. In this case, I'm gonna do about six total because I will be covering this entire seat from top to bottom, as well as the driver's seat as well. So as you guys can see, I don't wanna tilt it too much, but I got six drops right there. And what you wanna do, uh, one thing I do wanna emphasize, sorry. Uh, if you do have perforated leather, you wanna go ahead and work this in. If you don't, then you can go ahead and blot it out and then spread it out. In this case, I'll show you guys what that looks like. So, you know, if you do have perforated leather, you can do this method to avoid getting the product into the perforations. That way you don't have any excess cleaner just lingering in your vehicle. So now that you've worked it onto your applicator, I kind of like to just get the remaining residual, just kind of coat the borders of your applicator. That way you can kind of get into any kind of rough, or not rough, but like more intricate areas. And then you want to go ahead and start applying it. Now, whenever you start applying it, you just want to go ahead and apply it in straight motions. Now, one thing that you guys may not be noticing right now is the product actually being laid down on the surface. Now, the reason for this is because obviously it's white. You're not really gonna see a huge difference because it's bright and this chemical is clear. But the main difference here that you'll be seeing is that this actually helps provide a natural matte OEM finish and that durable UV protection against the elements. So like I said, you're not gonna see a whole lot on this white leather, but if you're doing this on a darker vehicle, like darker leather or even like beige leather, you'll be able to see a kind of like a light little shine. If you do see that shine, don't freak out. I know I said that this product leaves a matte finish. 
but that's just because whenever the product seeps into the material, it'll actually just tone down and just leave off as a matte finish. Now, in this case, if you do want to just, you know, kind of speed up that process, what I like to do is I like to flip the uh, microfiber applicator onto the dry side, and then I just go over it one more time, and this is just going to ensure that we pick up any excess sitting on the surface so that we don't have any kind of oily residue or any kind of feel left behind. And just like that, you're basically all done applying your leather protecting serum. Like I said, this is on white leather, so obviously you guys are not gonna see a crazy like before and after or anything like that or like it going on. But it's basically the same thing whenever you're applying a wax to like a white color vehicle. You know, you're not really gonna see the wax on there, but in this case, it's doing its job. We know that we've coated it nice and thoroughly. And if you actually feel the leather afterwards, it does have more of a smooth finish as opposed to a dry tacky kind of finish after cleaning it with the leather cleaner because now the leather is now protected and it has a nice dry to the touch feel with no kind of oily residue left behind. So all that there's left to do now is to just finish uh, coating the rest of the leather. So I'm gonna coat the rest of the passenger seat, the driver's seat and the back seats as well. And then we're gonna move on to another product, Total Interiors to wipe down the rest of the interior. All right guys, so for our next question we have, what can I use to clean my Tesla screen with? Now that's a big, big question I would say. I know it's very simple for most people, but in order for you to really clean this without damaging it, such as scratching it, you wanna make sure that you're using a product that is slick and has lubricants in it, such as our Total Interior Cleaner and Protectant. And you also wanna use something that's not aggressive. So the last thing that you wanna do is, you know, go to your local hardware store and pick up a bottle of uh, super degreaser and then spray this on your screen and then you know stain it permanently so in order to really clean this up safely and effectively we'll be using some total interior so like i mentioned at the beginning of the video total interior is an all-around cleaner and protectant so you can use it on things like your navigation screens your dashboards your steering wheel your door panels your center consoles your cup holders uh, it works on leather as well however like i said this is more of a maintenance cleaner so you know if you guys are going to ask why didn't you use to clean this leather it's I'm pretty sure it's pretty straightforward. The leather was pretty bad. So, you know, something like this can be used for maintenance. So if you did want to just give it a quick little wipe down from any kind of food spills or anything like that, you're totally good. But in this case, we'll be using total interior. We're going to spray some directly onto our microfiber towel. We'll give it about three sprays. And then so that we don't get any kind of overspray, we're not going to spray directly on the screen. We're just going to spray in our towel and give that a nice little wipe down. And in some cases, you might have to go over some areas a little bit more than others just because you may have like a heavy staining of uh, body oils from fingerprints and stuff like that. But as you guys can see, just give it a quick little wipe down, flip your towel to the opposite side to buff off any residue or leftover grime left behind, and you should be golden. So as you guys can see, this the screen, it's nice, it's clean, it's reflective all over again, and you can actually see what's going on in the sun when you're driving it around. And just like that, you're all good to go. Beautiful results. We're gonna move on to the next question, which is, can you use a degreaser to clean your interior? Now, this kind of goes along with what I said about, you know, using a degreaser to clean your screen. You don't wanna use a degreaser on your interior for any kind of purposes. We always recommend going with something like an all-purpose cleaner, like our Nonsense Diluted, or something that's specifically intended for interior, like our Total Interior Cleaner Protectant. And like I said, you can also use this on the dashboard and stuff like that, or your steering wheel. And that brings me to the next question, which is how do you clean a Tesla steering wheel? Now, I know it's pretty straightforward. I know a lot of these kind of questions apply to most vehicles, but these are just, like I said, the things that we ran across in our research in terms of what kind of questions Tesla owners had in terms of making sure that their Teslas are clean and well protected. Now, like I said, you can use Total Tear to clean this up from any kind of body oils and grime, but I'm just gonna go ahead and feature our leather cleaner wipes, which, you know, this is actually that vegan leather as well as the, uh, the seats. So I'm gonna show you guys, because I didn't show you guys earlier on cleaning the actual leather. Now I'm gonna show you guys what these leather uh, cleaner wipes are capable of. So as you guys can see, you pull one out, you close your flap, you put it away, and these wipes are actually pretty great. So if you guys will see, they stretch out very nicely. And I think the beauty about these wipes is that they contour to any kind of surface that you use them on. 
So you can go ahead and just kind of grasp your hand over the steering wheel and just go left and right and check out that foaming action. So like I said, this product contains the exact same formula as our leather cleaner in a bottle, only in a nice and easy to use, convenient, disposable wipe. So I'm just doing this little area right here because I think you guys are in for a little surprise because I know you guys may be looking at me right now and saying, hey, you know what? That's a black steering wheel. You know, who cares? It's not gonna make a difference, but check that out, you guys. That's how oily it is. That's all the dirt, grime, and body oils that are built up on the steering wheel. So for those of you guys who haven't cleaned your steering wheel in a long time, you guys should probably go out there and go clean your steering wheel and see how dirty it is for yourself. So our leather cleaner wipes are more than capable enough to get rid of all the dirt and grime and body oils that accumulate on your steering wheel for that ultimate deep clean. But you know, when it comes to steering wheels, I know it's like kind of, you know, why would you even clean in the first place? And the reason for that is because whenever you clean your steering wheel, you have a firm grip on the wheel, as opposed to when it's all oily, it's all sticky and it's slippery. And, you know, I know they kind of are kind of opposite things, but if you guys feel your steering wheel, you guys will know what I mean. So this is not really what you want, especially if you're driving in inclement weather conditions where, you know, handling is an essence. Like you wanna make sure that you have proper grasp of your wheel at all times. So leather cleaner wipes, that's what's gonna help you get there. Check that out one more time. All right guys, so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish off cleaning the interior with our total interior cleaner and protectant. I'll finish up cleaning the steering wheel with our leather cleaner wipes. And then I'll be back with you guys to show you guys how to clean and deodorize your carpets and floor mats. All right guys, so after we finished cleaning the rest of the interior with total interior, we proceeded with vacuuming the entire car. Now, I would say vacuuming would be the hardest part of this vehicle just because of how many dirt and grime and crumbs that were left on the ground. I would say that was probably the most difficult part of this just because a lot of that stuff was really embedded in that carpet. So I really had to like get in there to get all that stuff out of there. But luckily, that's out of the way. And now we can move on to the next thing, which is deodorizing and cleaning the carpets. Now the products that we're gonna be using today is actually just one, I have two right here in my hand, but that's because we have Fabric Clean. This is an upholstery shampoo and it's diluted to a 20 to one ratio. So that's the beauty about this product is that it's a shampoo based product. So you can dilute it with water, spray it, scrub it, get some high intense cleaning suds, wipe it off and you're good to go. So since I already have it diluted, all I have to do now is simply spray it onto the surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray directly onto the carpets themselves. I already did the floor mats off camera just because I wanted to just kind of knock them out of the way. So we're gonna spray directly onto the carpets. You don't have to go crazy and drench it. And then what I like to do is I grab a workhorse towel and just simply give it a quick little wipe down. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is more of just like a quick spot clean. This is designed to just pick up any kind of loose dirt, debris and dust that may be clinged onto the carpet. So this is just very quick, very easy to use. You can use this as a deep cleaner. So if you do have like a carpet extractor or a steamer, you can actually use it in conjunction with those for even more effective clean. But the main thing about this product is that it actually has more of a citrus base. So that way it has more of a deodorizing kind of factor to it where it kind of breaks down all the dirt, grime, and you know, uh, odor causing bacteria that's in the interior. Because this interior, as you guys saw, it was pretty dirty. And I know you guys can't smell it through camera, but it does kind of have like a weird musty scent. So in order to really, you know, neutralize that, the best thing to do is to clean the entire interior. And then you can spray an odor eliminator, like, a, you know, a new car smell, our signature scent, a banana scent. You know, I'm just kind of throwing out names, but any one of our air fresheners are gonna work out perfectly. And now that I think about it, I might hook them up with one of our chemical guys hanging air fresheners. So I might grab one of those after I finish this up. But let me just go ahead and finish this up. I'm gonna put the last final floor mat in there and then we're gonna go ahead and conclude this video. All right guys, so we're all wrapped up with the interior cleaning on this Tesla. And I have to say this thing looks incredible. Judging from when it first came in to what it looks like now, I would say this is a full 360 degree you know, transformation. 
the carpets are clean, the leather is bright white now, the navigation screen is a mirror, the steering wheel is nice, it's clean as well, free from any kind of body oils, and everything else is just dust free. So we're gonna go ahead and conclude this video with, like I said, a hanging air freshener. So we're gonna go ahead and hook up our friend here with a nice cherry blast hanging chemical guys air freshener just to kind of tie it all together. So we're gonna go ahead and conclude the video right here. If you guys enjoyed the series, make sure to let us know by giving us a huge like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you guys wanna see any of these videos in the future on maybe you know a different kind of vehicle, let us know in the comment section down below. As always, if you guys do wanna pick up any of these products, you can pick them up directly on our website, chemicalguys.com. Check out the description down below or the pinned comment in the comment section to pick them all up today or you can visit your local detail garage store. We have over 100 detail garage stores all throughout the UK, US, and Canada. And if you prefer to pick it up in person, make sure to visit your local detail garage store. We'll leave the store locator in the description down below. My name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. We'll see you guys next time. I don't have the key. Thank you.